Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I'm going to welcome you back for a political forum and just want to take a couple of minutes here to say how much we appreciate all you folks, not only in Tishomingo County, but all, uh, Etiwamba County, all the surrounding counties that got out and voted for your favorite candidate. Of course, statewide races, it all came to the end uh, November the 3rd. That'll end this election season. And we've got, of course, a special guest with us today who wanted to thank the voters that supported him big time. Uh, Mr. Dunny Bell is joining us here today. Dunny, good to see you. Thank you, Jack. Dunny and I uh, talked about this. Uh, actually, even yesterday, he said, Jack, win, lose, or draw, I want to come back and sit down and talk with you and thank the voters and uh, tell them how much I appreciate uh, their vote and support. And uh, uh, Dunny, uh, in Tishomingo County, 60%, a little over 60% turned out and voted in your favor. Uh, the same type numbers down in Edwamba County. Uh, you've got to be tickled to death at the support that you were given. Very much so. It, it was really a, a special night. And the, the turnout was up. That was unexpected, but uh, just really a, a great night. Of course, I think in uh, Tishomingo County, uh, somewhere around the 53% mark uh, turned out, and uh, that's a, a very good number. And, of course, there were several interesting races in Tishomingo County, as there was statewide, but uh, uh, probably more interest in, the, uh, in some of the county races than there were even some of the statewide races. But... Uh, uh, I know uh, you wanted to thank uh, Mr. Loden, your opponent, who uh, ran a very a good race and stuff, yes. and I'll let you do that at this time. Yes, everybody involved, from my supporters to his supporters, you know, uh, it's time to come together and do what's best for our district, and I look forward to doing that in Jackson. It was a tough campaign uh, on both sides, and uh, like I said, it was a good campaign. It, it worked out in my favor, and um, I'm just thankful for that, and I do appreciate all the voters and the hard work and um, it's time to move forward and let's get to work. Of course, I've seen uh, Dunny out already this morning as he pulled into the studio. He's got the truck and the trailer. You're already getting up the signs. And of course, uh, uh, you had the Dunny Bell signs as you see in behind us. You saw some of those signs around Tishomingo County. I want to give you uh, the totals. Now, keep in mind the totals that I'm going to give you for Tishomingo County. I think there was like 300 absentee ballots and a few affidavits uh, that wouldn't be in here. Uh, Dunny Bell, the incumbent, uh, had 1,190 votes. Aaron Loden had 780. He was the Democratic candidate. That's 60.34% for Donnie Bell, who won, and 39.55% uh, for Mr. Aaron Loden, who was the Republican opponent. But uh, once again, I want to say on behalf of Donnie Bell and all the staff and management here at WRMG, it was an honor. And uh, Donnie, we uh, was at Tishomingo County last night doing election returns, and we had it so the folks could uh, turn on TV 97 and listen. We had it where they could listen on their cell phone, but we also were streaming live video, and I showed you some of that this morning. Yes. And we got just tons and tons of comments. We had over 800 people watching online on like iPads and phones, and I don't know how many hundreds we had actually listening on TV and everywhere, but uh, uh, something new we're trying. The technology keeps advancing, and uh, uh, hopefully that keeps uh, the interest in the election process, don't you think? I think so, because with the turnout up here, it, it, it shows a lot more interest, and that's a good thing for our state. I had a candidate uh, that was on earlier, and he happened to be in Iraq uh, when they had the national election, and we was talking about it, how sad it is that folks don't get out and vote. He says, uh, Jack, we were in Iraq protecting the folks over there the best we could for them to go vote, and 90% of the country went and voted. And knowing that they might get killed for even going to vote, 90% and we can barely get 50% out when we can do it on our own. So uh, you might want to take that into consideration in the future. Uh, uh, you young folks out there that don't get out and vote, uh, what's going to happen when the older folks uh, are not voting? There may not be hardly any people voting. So y'all need to uh, kind of reevaluate uh, the election process because it is an honor to vote, isn't it? It, it really is. But at 52, 53%, that's a lot better than it's been in the oh, past. I want up. So we are making good strides and people are showing more interest. Jack, I would like to say one thing. Uh, I know there's a lot of signs throughout the county and, and I'm doing my best to pick them up. But if anybody would like one of those signs to sight their deer rifle in or to plug <laughs> a hole up in the barn, please help yourself. And uh, like I say, I want to try to keep the area clean and I will make an effort to get all those signs. But if somebody could Wants a sign, feel free to pick it up. Sounds good. And, of course, uh, if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, we're going to wrap this up. The main objective we wanted to do today is to thank you, the voters. And if you ever have any questions, uh, while this man right here, Mr. Donnie Bell, is down in Jackson, if there's an issue coming up 
and you want to put your two cents worth in, if you want to say it that way, uh, you need to let Donny Bell know and your other uh, representatives and state senators know ahead of time how you want to vote or what you support. And uh, it's easy to do it after the fact, but you'd, you'd like to know it ahead of time, right? Sure. I mean, I, I want to know what people are thinking and, and their views on it because a lot of times we don't know exactly and, and we make the best judgment we can at the time. So if there's something affecting you personally, business-wise, or, or just your views on something, I'd much rather get an email from you or a telephone call saying this is what I think. Doesn't mean I'm going to agree with you, but I'd rather know up front how the people back home feel about something. So you're going to vote uh, what you think is best for your particular district, That's which right. is District 21. Let me say this, I'm going to make you an offer. I've already offered some of the other candidates uh, that have won that I happened to talk to you last night. Uh, I think we've got a good thing here with the political forum. And I'm offering you any time during the process, uh, what, when you're down in Jackson in session, uh, to come into the studio live here and let's say there's some things that you're discussing down there that you want your hometown folks to know about. Uh, I'm going to invite you to come in and uh, sit down and let's talk about it so you can kind of keep the folks informed on what's going down at Jackson. What about that? I would be glad to. I try to avoid TV cameras and news reporters, but, but since for Jack, you, for, since but for Jack, you, I'll be glad to do but that. But I'm talking about, uh, well, I'm talking positive stuff. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? So, yes. but uh, uh, you heard him. He'll come on with Jack Ivey and nobody else, but sure. I'm kidding. But uh, folks, we appreciate you for joining us. Appreciate Denisa, and it's been a wonderful summer, and it all came to a close last night. And uh, as folks, I know some folks went home last night happy, some folks not as happy, but uh, we all got up this morning and thank the good Lord for that. And I just want to say how much we appreciate you. Congratulations again. Uh, congratulations to all the other winners out there. And also, uh, you folks that didn't come out on the winning end, we appreciate the great job you did. And uh, I admire you for running an election. It, That's it, right. It's a big process and stuff. So, Donnie Bell, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody else out there. Thanks to Denise, and thank you for watching. Do me a favor. Uh, share this on Facebook. And if you see any other candidates out there that ran, Tell them how much you appreciate them being a part of the political process. Once again, for Donnie Bell, our special guest today who wanted to come on and just say thank you, voters. Denise on the controls. I'm Jack Iveson. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time somewhere in the future on the political forum, and y'all have a great day.